My name is uh, Doug Pullman, and I'm really from a, a variety of places, uh, Michigan, Indiana, Nebraska, uh, D.C., uh, recently uh, Georgia, and this is my second stint in Florida. I'm an um, aquatic ecologist, otherwise known as a limnologist. Uh, my specialty is, is the management of nuisance aquatic plants in particular invasive species, and I've been doing that for roughly 40 years. My rig is a, a 2005 Airstream, and uh, I found it uh, actually not too far from here, um, in the back of an RV lot, and it had been neglected, and uh, didn't smell very good when we found it, and I have hence uh, taken everything down to the walls, it's been replumbed, rewired, and I made all new cabinetry for it and had a blast doing it. Even covered the, uh, the cushions and did the sewing on that. So it, redoing an Airstream is a lot of fun. Uh, originally, we purchased this particular Airstream for two reasons. One, because we wanted to have the fun of redoing it. And it was to do um, just recreation, you know, weekends, that sort of thing. However, you know, I've now been in this since uh, a year ago, last November, and chose this because I'm very near my only granddaughter. And so um, that's uh, how I ended up being a full-timer. My favorite part is, is here, it's being outdoors. Um, I have an outdoor kitchen area, and obviously it's a small RV, so I spend a lot of time outdoors, and even keep the windows open so it always feels like I'm outdoors. The long-term setup here at Roberts was almost by happenstance. I was looking for a place close to family and also close to shopping and things like that. And this one popped up and so it's ended up being a very pleasant full-time stay here at Roberts. I've been here about 14 months. What's my experience been like at, at Roberts? And uh, I, I was just going to say that I, I started out north of this lot, just one over. And when summer approached, they allowed me to move into this lot under the trees, which is a huge improvement in terms of staying out of that hot summer sun. And it's, it's just been a lot of fun. It's, uh, neighbors here are amazing and made some friends. It's, it's what RV living, I think, is all about, especially with the full-timers. I, I do live on a corner lot. Um, and during the off season in particular, it when the park oh, kind of empties out, it's nice to have this particular position because I get to see the full-timers go by and it's been kind of a, a nice meeting spot uh, just for chatting and talking and, and discussing current affairs that sort of thing so I think that's one of my favorite parts is being here and getting to know so many people. One of the reasons I think that I, I get the opportunity to talk with a lot of people is because of the garden area that I've, I've put in um, it centers around, they're exclusively aquatic plants, some are carnivorous plants, uh, some are, are typical tropical aquatic plants, but everything I have here will grow in water, particularly the water lilies uh, and some of the uh, arums. W would I recommend this life to others? Uh, when I first started going full-time, I, I met one of the other uh, full-timers here who mentioned that they would never live anywhere without wheels under them. And after doing this for a while, I fully understand that the, uh, the freedom, the uh, simplicity of living in an RV is great and it leaves you time to do other things that are more fun than taking care of a house or mowing lawns. I, I think to people that are looking for a more natural site, uh, that want to be closer to nature. Uh, there's not an overabundance of concrete here, which I appreciate. And then, you know, being very close to the preserves is, is, is really nice. Uh, and again, access to your, your basic needs like Target and, and Publix and places like that also make this a very desirable location. One of the things I like in, in terms of the natural setting here is, is um, I share my lot with two very nice trees, well-maintained an oak, and then I love my longleaf pine here. To me, Roberts is, is unique um, amongst some of the other parks in the area. It, it, and it's, I suppose, a personal preference. Uh, I 
I do like uh, to have trees around, even though I might have to sweep up some leaves now and then, it's well worth it. Other parks um, typically would have more concrete, large concrete pads, and I understand the appeal of those also to certain people. But for me, it's really about being closer to nature. And that's really the beauty of RVing, is being able to be closer to nature and be outside. That makes sense to me.